Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 8 minigame review. Up today we're playing the 1 vs 3 minigame Picture Perfect. In this one, you're trying to stop the puzzle pieces to match the picture on the screen. The first team to do that will win. Yeah, so this is a pretty fun concept. Yeah, and really unique that it's a 1 versus 3. I thought for sure it'd be a 2 versus 2. I mean, honestly, I could see it working in every category. Could have been a free-for-all or a dual minigame. Really, it would have worked no matter what kind of minigame it was. Yeah, I guess that is true. Which is kind of funny that this is one minigame that they didn't make fit into two categories, because it definitely could have. Gosh, yeah, why didn't they do that? Well, when you're the single player, you only have four tiles that you have to try and stop. And then the team of three has a lot more. But honestly, it was fun being on either side. Yeah, the gameplay really doesn't change much. And I think there's a pretty even difficulty no matter what side you're on. It doesn't feel skewed to one side or the other. Exactly. I thought the single player only having four tiles would be way too easy. But it really wasn't. It was well matched. I did have a little bit of trouble, though, being on the team to make sure I was selecting the right tile at the right time. Because you're using the motion controls, and because there's a lot of different cursors on the screen, it is hard just to find where you are and stop it at the right moment. Yeah, I could see that. It's not a huge issue, but it was a little bit more hectic on the team side than the single player side. Yeah, but like you said, still fun. I think one thing that I'm starting to understand about Mario Party 8 is that when they do mini games based on the pointer controls, it seems to work a lot better than when they try and put some sort of uh, more motion based controls in it. Like these pointer ones are always pretty good and they always work well. Oh yeah, that is really true. Well, we haven't reviewed them all, so we still have some that we might like. Yeah, I'm sure there's some good motion control mini games coming up, or at least I hope there is. Me too. But overall, Picture Perfect is pretty perfect. I wouldn't say it's absolutely perfect, but it's great. You'll have a lot of fun playing this one. The team side might be a little bit more hectic than the single player side, just because your cursor can get lost in the shuffle. But it's not enough to ruin this one. I think we both had a lot of fun with it, and I would want to play it anytime it came up in a game of Mario Party. We're giving it four stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, Subscribe and hit the bell. Wow, we had two five star mini games in a row and then two four stars. I hope we get back to five stars, but I'm pretty okay with the four stars too. Yeah, I'll take whatever we can get. Up next, we'll be reviewing Poor Score. Oh no. Well, that doesn't sound promising at all. Yeah, let's hope Poor Score gets a four score or above. Well, if you want to see what this one's like, come back to watch it with us. Hope, hope to, to see, see you then. then.